the start of coming out the gym. Please welcome all the way to the microphone, the wonderful James Elway! All right, guys. Hello. How are we? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, like you heard, my name's James. Um, 29 years old. Ooh. Five foot four. But I'm hung like I'm five foot five. So <laughs> don't even worry about it. Um, yeah, not at all, man. And some people say uh, short men can be too aggressive. Have you heard that? Yeah, I think those people can fuck off, can't they? <laughs> um, I do stand up, but not just that, I do impressions as well, uh, self taught. But still, with that in mind, does anyone have any regional accents that they like? West country. West country? <laughs> it's easy. Uh, yeah, no, I can do that, yeah. Good. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm a pretty progressive guy as well. Um, I've been in a few polyamorous relationships, guys. Yeah. Of course, uh, I'm always the last one to find out. <laughs> Thanks, you're a great crowd. Um, yeah, no, it doesn't stop me dating, though. Still getting out there. Part of uh, an ongoing campaign to not die alone, yeah. Um, the apps are good. Bumble's all right, isn't it? Woo! Yeah, not not because women talk first. Uh, if I could deal with that, wouldn't need the app, would I? Yeah. Um, but Bumble's great. It's got these filters on it. Yeah, you can uh, filter out people by different characteristics, uh, like height. <laughs> I'm not using that one. Uh, I like a logistical challenge. Yeah. Um, but you can also filter people out by their political beliefs, right? So. I'm using Bumble to filter out Tories, basically. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go on a first date with a Tory. I'll tell you why, because my idea of a good first date is, let's go for a drink, yeah? Let's grab a coffee. It's never, let's go around King's Cross at night and burn homeless people with fags. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I wish they'd stop inviting me, right? I'm really not interested. Um, I can make that joke, I can do that, because I've been in a relationship with a Tory before seen this girl for years and at one point she said to me James I think we need to spice things up a bit um, like to establish a little dominant submissive vibe and I thought nice um, but actually she just came around my house in winter and turned my heating off <laughs> one time I was really ill yeah uh, she just told me I was fit for work that was it it's bollocks. Um, so there's this old saying. Well, I say it's an old saying. It's more like an Instagram post that I saw, really. Um, and it goes, if you go back to his place and he doesn't have any books, don't sleep with him, right? And I get it. The idea is you want to end up with someone intelligent, yeah? Uh, here's the thing. I've got loads of books. I haven't opened them, right? <laughs> and that is key if you're going to learn, right? So here's an idea for you. Next time you go on a date, take a few past papers with you, yeah? Yeah, bear with me. If things are going well, go back to his place. You get to take a test, don't you? And then, what's that? I thought the Giacomo guys were kicking off then. No? Right. Um, <laughs> you go back to his place, you get him to take a test, right? And then you sit and you mark that test, don't you? And then depending on how he did, see where you go from there. You might have some awkward conversations, but I do think it's worth it. You might end up going, look, I've had a wonderful evening. You seem like a nice guy. And this essay section, very disappointing. Um, the first paragraph, you described the Weimar Republic as being very unique. That's the thing with the word unique can't be very unique, can you? It's either unique or it's not. I'm not in a relationship with somebody who makes that kind of blunder. I'm going to get an Uber home, right? <laughs> so what I'm saying is it shouldn't be if you go back to his place and he can't, he hasn't got any books, don't sleep with him. It should be if you go back to his place, he can't describe and explain the formation of an oxbow lake, <laughs> then don't sleep with him, right? <laughs> um, quick question for you guys. Has anyone ever had a breakup so bad they did a half marathon? <laughs> 
couple of you know, don't you? I think you can tell how bad a breakup was for someone by how they behave afterwards. Like half marathon, that's quite bad, isn't it? It's not a full one. <laughs> Selfie! There, beat!